laundry yet? Yes, this is how I do. I go away for a while because life gets busy and then I come back with a whole bunch of videos. <laughs> well, yeah, guys, anything different? Yeah, my hair is straight. Well, wavy now. It's been two days since I straightened my hair. My go-to straightening tool is the Instyler. I've been using the Instyler for over three years, so I know probably every trick that the Instyler does and everything. I always have my go-to blow dry, my go-to curling iron, my go-to Instyler, whatever. But I never had my go-to flat iron, right? Like the one that I would say is my favorite, is the one that I go to for the simple fact that they always make my hair smell like smoke. They never straighten my hair the way I wanted to. Just, just never did what I wanted them to do. They always did something weird or different but anyways I did reviews on previous flat irons you can check the description box down below and you can actually see you know you if you watch reviews like this one this is the one you're watching right now you can tell when the reviewer really likes the product right it's something you can't fake well I cannot this review is gonna be a review on the irresistible me diamond professional styling iron this is how it came packaged it looks really really well put together really really nice it has the diamond at the top with the picture yeah, it's all red. The buttons are not in the way. They're right inside. I'm going to tell you guys what actually happened and then I'll write down somewhere what it claims to do, right? You turn it on, probably 20 seconds, it gets hot. It turns on really, really fast, all right? It's just the on-off button, up and down. That's it. And the higher you go, the more bars you're going to have. As you can see, the green bar right here at the front. You can see the temperature, right, like a digital clock right there. And it goes up to three bars and it goes up to 450 degrees. Girls and B said it. This is the best one I ever used in my life. You can go ahead and try it. And if you don't like it, you can return. Free, ret free returns, I think. I'll leave it somewhere else if it's not. So, telling you guys real quick how I prepare my hair to get it straightened. I separate my curls dry. Before I get in the shower, I separate my curls. Like, I, get, I probably get an inch. Every single inch, I just separate my curls. So, it can be less tangles to deal with in the shower, right? Get in the shower, wet my hair, and then I shampoo my hair. The shampoo I use most of the time is Sulfur Free shampoos. I just make sure it's very moisturizing. And yeah, Sulfur Free tends not to have as much suds, but I do like suds. And most of the Sulfur Free shampoos that I use have suds, and I love them. All right, I just really, really like shampoo with suds. So yeah, I get a really moisturizing shampoo, wash my hair, and then I rinse shampoo off, and then I detangle my hair with the conditioner. I use my demon brush, detangle my hair all the way through, and then I leave the conditioner in, and I apply deep conditioner right on top of the conditioner, because why would I rinse my conditioner off? The deep conditioners I use most of the time is the Austin Three Minute Miracle, the Macadamia uh, Deep Repair Mask, or the Honor Care Mask. Which the Honor Care Mask I mostly use for smelling purposes. But anyways, I leave that on for 30 minutes. Obviously, uh, I go on taking my shower. Rinse it off with cold water or cool water. The cool coolest setting you can go on your shower, right? That makes sure the cuticle of your hair is flat. Which can make your hair shinier because the light reflects off the flat surface. That's why hair with texture tends to be less shiny because it's not flat. It's like curling opening, you know, a curling or whatever texture. Opening the cuticle and the light won't be able to reflect, right? After I dry my hair with my curly tea towel, I put my hair protectants, whatever hair protectants I use. And then I get a blow dry and I blow my hair for 10 minutes on cool settings. I try to take all the curls and all the water out of my hair, right? And then I put my hair up in a bun, a simple bun, nothing special. And then I go to work. I like my hair to be in a bun with the heat protectants that I use. Heat protectants can have a chance to get in the hair cuticle and everything because your body produces natural heat. So it opens the cuticle back up again in that bun and then it goes in and everything. Back from work, I take down my bun and then I actually brush it again with my demon brush again. And then I get a blow dryer. This is the Hot Shot Tools by the Sally's on um, high and hot i just blow dry with the comb i just make sure i take all the curls out i'm not getting it pinned straight i'm just taking all the curls out as possible and this blow dry is really really quick it took me probably up to five minutes on each side or less all right to like make it 100 percent dry to just get all the curls out and then i just do two braids and i go to school <laughs> yeah i come back from school and then i start straightening my hair with the flat iron To straighten my hair, I use a bristle brown brush. Yes, this is the one. I use, I do not like following my brush with a flat iron, right? I do recommend it, but I don't like doing it myself. So I just get a little piece. I do little piece by little piece for the simple reason that the smallest the piece, the better. Your outcome is going to be in less heat you're going to apply. Because if the piece is too big, you're going to require more passes with the flat iron and everything. So little piece is better. That's why I like this one inch wide flat iron because it gets really, really, because it's really tiny and it gets in every single piece you use and I don't mind it took me about two hours with breaks included so yeah my hair is pretty long too so it's gonna take me a while 
I just get a little piece as you can see right here in the demo I just go down and then I make sure I hold my hair while I go down with my flat iron even though I don't follow but I do recommend holding it at least if you don't follow the thing is the reason why you follow your brush or your comb with the flat iron is because you want your hair to be straight and separated as possible so your flat iron is not only crushing your curls making it like it's still like wavy or curls whatever or textured and then it's smashed with the, you following the brush it makes sure every single strand is separated so your flat iron is actually straightening your hair for me i just hold it at the end to make sure it's straight while the brush while the flat iron is coming down and yeah it works out for me it does get very hot after the first pass with the flat iron you can use gloves or you can just take the heat every single pass with a flat iron I do go over again with my round brush all right and I probably go up to three times this straightened my hair first pass I was really really surprised impressed me enough so yeah after the second pass it was like done it was beautifully boned straight the way i wanted to yes in the back especially where my parchment is i usually in the back i go backwards like that when i straighten my hair at the crown i give it a little flip on the sides i just go straight back and in the front i give a little flip so the flip the little turn with the fly is in the front and on the crown and then i go straight back in the back and on the sides but yeah it's really really simple the way i use it it's just perfect and I love this flat iron. I recommend it 100%. This might sound bad, but when I get a product to review, I usually look for bad things that I could tell you guys of. I'll tell you guys not spend your hard earned money on something that's not gonna work. But like I said, give it a try. Personal opinion, but I always recommend you guys trying stuff. Even if I don't like, um, if I think it works for some other people, I do recommend it. But this one is just, I love it so much. It works 100% for Crows and Beauty. So I do recommend y'all to try it. You can use the code IRRESISTIBLEANDREA to get 10% off. If the code is different, I'll leave it down below. All the information about the flat iron will be down below. 
yeah guys thank you for watching i got my go-to flat iron and i hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you for watching bye